Hey everyone, this is Ashton here from MuseThemes.com with our new Slide Reel widget. Now this is a really simple but unique photo slideshow design widget built for Muse. It's a responsive slideshow displaying our hero images full screen and this cool scrollable sidebar thumbnail navigation. And also note the captions here on the bottom. If I give the page a refresh, we can see a cool custom animation on page load, which is awesome. Now I mentioned a moment ago that this is a design widget. And what I mean by that is us here at Muse Themes have always made two different kinds of widgets. And for a long time, we've always referred to them as toolbox and design widgets. Most of the widgets you've seen from us are probably the toolbox widgets. They're basically built from scratch by our developer team using custom code. And they're basically in a little box that you put on your page and add some kind of functionality. Design widgets, however, use those native Muse widgets that you find that come with the software, like slideshows, compositions, galleries, etc. And for those, our design team generally takes a native widget and styles it up to look pretty cool, and usually there's some pretty slick functionality built in as well. In the earlier days of Muse themes, we used to build a lot more of those design widgets, but now that Muse has updated its native widgets to be responsive, we got a bunch of new great design widgets on the way. So what we're working with here is a styled up version of the native Muse slideshow widget, with some temporary images loaded in and an optional onload animator widget incorporated and applied to our captions. So before I confuse you too much, let's jump into Muse so you can see the simplicity of what I'm talking about. We're going to start here with a brand new blank site, but before I grab the widget, let's get a few vital things in place. First off, your page expansion, as noted by these breakpoint arrows. This is going to be a full screen widget, so we need to make sure that our page can stretch as wide as needed for any browser size. So we need to make sure these arrows are set to point outward. Now secondly here, we have a footer that comes default on this new page. But for the sake of the widget, we're going to want to remove that. As I said, it's a full screen widget for one, and two, the captions are going to be pinned to the lower left corner. So any footer spacing is going to kind of throw that off. So let me really quick jump over to the master page. And we can go ahead and tighten up that footer just like that. Perfect. Now back to our home page. And just for experiment's sake, I'm going to add another breakpoint here so we can see how this widget is going to respond accordingly. Perfect. Now let's pop open our library. Now I only have one widget in here right now, but if you have a long list of widgets, just take note that this is going to appear in the sliders section, not the toolbox area that you're probably used to. So we'll go ahead and drag this onto our canvas. And right off the bat, you're gonna see a somewhat familiar structure if you've ever worked with the regular Muse slideshows before. Now I'm gonna zoom out my view to 50% so we can get a little bit of a better view of our setup here. So we have our slideshow widget, of course. All of our thumbnails are aligned here on the far right. And our captions are pinned to the bottom left of the screen. And we're also seeing a little bit of a quirk in Muse here. If I scroll down, we have our onload animator elements that got thrown way down here. When we make our widgets, we always package them up nice and neatly. But sometimes Muse doesn't like to keep the elements grouped together once pulled out of the library. So just make sure to give a glance around the page if you seem to be missing anything. So I'm just going to bring up the onload up here into view, but we can just keep that off to the side for now. I'd also suggest that you click through your breakpoints to do any required adjusting. Sometimes elements, especially the captions here, can get shifted around a bit. So we're just going to want to make sure that those are adjusted where they need to be and aligned right at the bottom of the page. Perfect. Now, at first glance, you may be wondering why the page looks so long or so tall. Well, let's go ahead and zoom back in. And I'm going to pop open the settings panel for the widget. And this will look familiar to a lot of you. Now, note how this slideshow, as I said, is set to full screen. And it needs to be kept that way to retain this widget's function. Here in Muse, in design mode, Muse is going to extend the page downward to allow room for those thumbnails. And you're definitely going to notice that reflected if you have a long list of images. However, it's not going to look that way in the browser. Once you actually give it the preview, the hero image will zoom to fill the entire browser, but no more. And the thumbnails will then be their own scrollable entity, as we saw in the live demo. 
So our next step would be to add some images of our own, and there's a few ways to do this. In the past, you may have been advised to use the right-click option to replace images in sliders and galleries. And you can still do that if you want, but it's actually going to cause you more work, because Muse acts a little quirky with regard to the sizing of the images when you do it like that. It's actually better to use the folder method that you can find right in the settings panel. So first, let's right-click on the whole slideshow, and we'll select Clear Widget Contents. And that'll leave us with all the same formatting, but a completely clean slate. So now we'll jump into the panel, and we'll select this button on the top here for Add Images. That's going to bring up your Finder window, where you can then select Images in Bulk. Click OK. And they're loaded directly into the widget, just like that. Now once you do that, you'll notice how the thumbnails kind of seem to go out of whack. And that's just due to the default way that Muse loads images into its design widgets. Our thumbnail setup for this widget is a custom one, and Muse doesn't really reflect that for the new images added. However, the first image here will be right where it needs to be, so you just have to take a moment and kind of stack them up as they appeared before, one after another. And just making sure to keep them aligned with the border of the page. Perfect. And you can always add additional images ongoing. Just make sure to repeat this process for any new ones added in and drop them to the bottom of the stack. And you also may find that your caption bar might shift a little bit as well when you add a new stack of images. So let's just go down here and we'll grab that little sucker and we'll replace it back aligned with the bottom of the page. Perfect. And lastly, make sure that when you do that, that you double check the pinning settings. The captions should always be pinned here to the bottom left to maintain that functionality. And sometimes if it gets shifted around, it might lose its pinning. So just make sure to keep an eye on that. Now, one more thing I want to point out here before previewing, if you ever load in your images and they don't seem to be fitting very well inside of the thumbnail, just like regular slideshow widgets, you can always right click on the thumbnail and go to the fitting option. Now there are two options here, one for fit content and one for fill frame. So play around with that if you get any strange cropping or placement going on. So now finally, let's give this a browser preview. And there we go. Our hero image is appearing nicely full screen and our thumbnails are scrollable here on the far right. And I can even shift the browser up and down and Everything is retained nicely and responsively, which is awesome. So that's our slide reel widget, guys. Thanks again so much, as always, for watching. Hit us up for any questions or concerns, and keep an eye out for some really cool upcoming design widgets from us in the near future. We'll see you next time.